what is up guys it is steady co welcome back to my channel guys and girls if you're new here welcome and if you've seen me before welcome back i am a self-taught barber i've been cutting my hair for one year and two months now since march 2020 is now may um so yeah i've gotten a lot more experience since my last video i'm gonna try to speed through this one um but i am gonna just talk and walk through the steps i have cut out a few steps um, but you can always refer back to my other video and I will mention that when we get there. All right, the two clippers I'm gonna be using today is gonna to be the Andy's T-Liner. And I'm also gonna be using my Magic Clip by Wall. This one has an adjustable lever and an adjustable blade like that so I can get some good fading action. I'm only gonna be using three guards today. Starting with the shortest is gonna be the half guard, the one, the one and a half. I've already sprayed my clippers just for disinfectant and sanitary purposes with this. In my opinion, the most important step in having a good fade is having a good guideline. So in my previous video, I used to do the headband method. I would take an elastic headband like this. You can get them in the hair section at Family Dollar, Target, Walmart, and I'll put it around my head and kind of like make the guideline. I drop it down to the back of my head and I'll just kind of follow it with my clippers like that, like that. You can see it in my previous video, but that's a really good method if you are new to cutting your hair. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna freehand it because I'm a little more experienced now and I could show you how to just freehand it if you do not have a headband. But if you do have a headband um, or like a shoestring or something, you could tie that around your head and just make sure it's even um, and then follow the line beneath the shoestring. Um, I place mine right on my temple where the hair starts to go down and at the bottom of this occipital bone follow that but I do it freehand now because I wanted to have more of an arch you can't get much of an arch with the headband because it's pretty much straight around and I also use a handheld mirror um, just to you know see different sides of my face and all that I'm gonna start with the guy line right over my ear and I'm gonna work my way up and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side work my way up and then I'm also going to start from the back, at the bottom of this occipital bone, that's where I like my fade to start. And then I'm going to connect to my ears. I'm working to the front always. So that's how I'm gonna be doing my haircut. Pretty much this entire video is from um, working just towards the front, like working towards my face. I'm gonna um, start here and then I'm just gonna like kind of arch it over. And I want it to end here and just follow like a curved line kind of around my ear. Okay, see how that's kind of curves. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. All right, should look like that on both sides. And then the last step is doing the back of my head. I'm gonna locate the bottom of my fade. And I'm also gonna get in a point in the mirror where I can see um, where the lines need to connect. So I'm gonna start here and basically just connect the dots. Let's do it this way. Turn as much as I can so I can see me. Alright, so I connected the dot on that side and then it kind of arches down and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Rotating your head slowly as you go. Alright, then 
it should look like that. As long as you have a good and clean guideline, you're gonna have a great fade. Like I'm telling you, that is the most important part. Literally most important part. So it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna look weird. I also got a new addition to my um, haircut kit. So this is a bald shaver and I use this on the side of my head. It's by Vivitar. I got this at Marshall's for $20. Um, but yeah, it gets a really close shave. I use that for my fade once I cut the hair down. So next thing I'm gonna do is just knock the hair down. Um, I go in a downwards motion. Some people like flip the clipper and then go up, but just do whatever's comfortable for you. I'm not a full barber. I think I should say that. Not a full, I'm not a barber at all. I just cut my own hair. So my technique may be questionable. It may be unorthodox. It may be different than what you know and are used to, but my haircut looks good. That's all that matters. Same thing on the right side. I tilt my head as I'm cutting it. I got a new addition to the kit. This is my new best friend when it comes to getting wavy hair and setting my waves, but also just cleaning up between the haircut because when I get hair on my body, I can just... That is pretty much step two. Just make sure you don't have any patches. And then from there, you should be good to go. The next step is gonna be starting the actual fade. So I'm gonna start with my, I'm gonna start with my wall magic clip and the half guard. If you have the half guard, this should be the lowest number guard that you have. Um, put that on like such. And I'm gonna start with the clippers on open so when they're open the clippers shift up meaning it lets in less hair and it cuts longer and when it's closer um, or closed that means that it cuts more hair and it cuts shorter so I like to leave room for error um, so I always cut with my blades open so that means the lever is pushed all the way down and the blades are as far as part as possible. But I'm gonna start with a one inch guideline going right above this first ball guideline. And that's how I'm gonna start my fade. Go start on the left side, then do the right side, then do that. You can see the hair is starting to get a little bit shorter, but not too much. So the right side looks like, and I'm just gonna do the back. You're gonna work your way around the whole head, um, making sure to connect all the lines. So I start here and then work my way up and then I start in the back and then I work my way up to that first checkpoint and kind of overlap it um, just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. And I always brush in between um, each guideline just to make sure I didn't miss any spots and to move any hair out the way. That is called cutting against the grain. So when you go in the opposite direction that your hair is brushed in, you're going against the grain. Then you're gonna to want to cut your hair with the grain. So still with the blade in the same position, you're just gonna cut downwards and lay the hairs back down. But be careful not to go above that guideline. Lay everything back down. You might pull a few more hairs while doing this too. Thank you. 
and that is the end of step two or step three. Yeah, this is what your hair should look like after that first guideline has been made and you clip the hair back down. I'm telling y'all, this is a pretty simple process. Like, it's pretty simple. As long as you're neat with your guidelines, you're gonna have a good fade every time. Okay, after that guideline is done, you're gonna move on to your next highest guard. And we're working, we're working our way up. So I started with the lowest point, work to a midpoint, and then I'm gonna work to like the highest point. With that being said, I'm gonna take my one guard and do the same thing. Clippers are still open and I'm just gonna put them on, clip them, and I'm going to blend this area into this area. So it's not gonna cut much hair because the length of my hair is already at that length. And y'all don't mind my waves, like my hair is um, washed and dry with no products in it, but it is clean, but it's just not laying down. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take the one guard and do the same thing. I'm gonna blend up about half an inch from the top of this guideline into this area. So not cutting too much hair, but still blending it. It shouldn't cut that much. Same thing on the right side. Pick up where you left off at on the on the side. I took my head down and just raised the mirror up. And after doing that, you're just gonna cut the hair back down, go with the grain and just lay everything back down. Out. All right, and that is going to be the end of step number three. This is what it looks like after I've added that second guideline. So the fade should pretty much be complete in this area. Um, this should be the only part that's not not faded yet. So the rest should just kind of blend together. I'm going to take my highest guard just so I can lay some hair down on the top. So, oops. Got it. This is gonna be the one and a half. And I'm gonna just use that open and just cut down my hair on top. And that should blend right into um, that one open guideline right here. It's not gonna cut much hair, but it's just gonna even everything out. So you have a nice even cut. So he's not really cutting much in this area because all that hair is pretty much at the length it needs to be. But if you want to go lower to get like a um, cleaner cut or just like shorter on the top and not as dark, then you can close it or you can go with the one guard. But um, I like my hair typically one and a half or two length um, just because I like it dark and wavy up top so you can't really see my scalp. I do cut down my hairline too. Just so that hair is um, more even, easier to lay down, and easier to line up if it's all the same length. Just to make sure that miss any spots. All right, cool. By this point, your hair should be pretty much the same length all over and it should blend perfectly um, coming down. If you want a little more blend or just want to fix some spots, you can always go in with the middle guard. Um, I'd say the one and you can go in with the one guard closed to just cut a little bit more hair if need be. I would just go over that spot if I wanted to um, blend out the fade even more. Don't really need to, but just a few spots if you wanted to get that a little cleaner, a little tighter, then go in with the one guard and just work 
that knot line until so you get it like nice and even. But don't go more than like half an inch. Next step is the same as the rest. You're just gonna remove the guard and you're just gonna use the blade with the open clippers, the open blade. Um, and you're just going to blend up about half of an inch um, to start to blend at this bottom line. Simple, same old, same old. Keeping this open because we're gonna close it to knock out the very bottom line at the very end. But we have two more steps and we'll be good to go. Careful not to go up too far. You don't want to start cutting into that guideline. But this is the point where the fade should really start to come together. And I find that pulling my head up, like pulling the skin to make it tighter, um, gives you a bit more surface area and it makes the shave a little bit cleaner. So you're able to get a little more hair than you would normally if you just left it without pulling it and getting that tension. The line in the back is gonna be a little bit harder to blend out, um, but you can still go over it. All right, at this point, your fade is basically done. You should be able to look at it and tell what's going on. If not, you're gonna have to keep trying. The last step on the fade is pretty much as simple as that. You're just repeating the same thing, but you're just going to blend out this bottom part and make the rest of this hair bald. And eventually go in with a um, shaver. But we're gonna just use this and then probably the shaver. Going only about a half an inch from the bottom. So you're just gonna blend all of this area into um, the bottom of your fade. That is pretty much going to be the fade. Um, if you see any spots that are a little bit shaky, you can go ahead and blend them out. I'm just gonna go over this guy line, um, just on like the lowest part of my hair with the half guard. Um, I'm gonna open it about halfway and just kind of blend it out. I'll go um, against the grain and with the grain. The last thing I want to do is my lineup. I like to follow the natural shape. So I'm not going to cut much of the hair. Um, I'm just going to shape the ends that are a little bit longer than the rest. Start in the middle and then just work your way out linear linearly. It brings the whole thing together. Like y'all see how that just cleaned up the whole look. Um, I try not to push my back too much, but I mean, that's kind of just where my hair grows. Like it, it just curves naturally like that. But I pretty much finished that. And this is the end result. So I'll just show y'all again. Um, I just followed the natural shape and I kind of just um, took down the hairs that were in the way and taken away from the shape. I didn't reshape it or anything. 
you just want to cut those hairs like cut them as long as like the hairs are going to lay down and you just got to cut the ends until the ends create this illusion of a line and then for the corners um, mine is kind of round because if i made it sharp like it's gonna pull my thing back like all the way like that i don't want that <laughs> but um yeah like that's pretty much what is gonna be and i just took the blade to the corners and just sh sharpen it to make the angle go down a little bit i always like to do my face at the end of the haircut so i'll normally go over my mustache i might actually do my my beard mustache um and then clean up this area I don't like my facial hair to be longer than a two open. I like to keep it short, clean, neat, and even. I just went over the top part of my lip. I hope that was pretty simple. Um, and I hope it was better than the last one. So that is how I cut my hair. This is what it turned out looking like. I am gonna style it, put on a do-rag um, to get the waves to lay down a little bit more. But at the end of the day, this is what your hair is gonna look like. I think I'm gonna take this side down just a little bit with the one, cause it's a bit dark. But yeah, like that pretty much sums up the haircut. Always make sure you're being clean when you cut your hair. So this is an astringent. Um, you can use an astringent or aftershave or anything like that. Just disinfect all the areas that you cut just to make sure that you don't break out, get any bumps. Oh, and I know, all my guys know. It could be a pain. But yeah, this part is super important just to disinfect, clean, close that skin up, make sure it's nice and tight. All right, and it smells good. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope y'all enjoyed it and learned something new. If you found something helpful, leave a thumbs up. And if you made it this far, leave a thumbs up also. I'd really appreciate it. And if you want to learn more information about cutting your hair, check out my last video. Um, I'll include that somewhere, either the description or a card up at the top, or like I'll put it at my end screen. I'll do all three. <laughs> I'll do all three. Also, I forgot to mention that this is the Torino brush, Torino Pro. Really good brush, highly recommend. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave me a comment if y'all have any questions. Leave me a comment if you thought it was helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Mm. <laughs> I'll see y'all on the next video.